Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR the game inside the la di da. And in this episode of our season, as Scott Speed and his number 95 Levine family racing Ford, we're going to be racing at Bristol Motor Speedway, Thunder Valley. Last episode raced at Las Vegas just yesterday, and that was just a huge bulldozing mess. My car was bulldozing off of turn four and, and just shooting up the track in the middle of the corners, tight as all shit. But they all kept on checking up and wrecking each other, and I bulldozed Mark Martin, I bulldozed Juan Papa Montoya, and then a bunch of other drivers in there. I don't know if I caused the wreck that uh, made Marcus Ambrose smash into the field like one lap into the race, but we're still the points leader after getting a 10th place finish. I was 8th place coming to the line, but they had me finish 10th. I blew a tire going like through the entire last lap of the race, so that was weird. But yeah, we're still seven points in front of Martin Truex Jr. Um, that means eight points in front of Greg Biffle. There's Jimmy Johnson tied for fourth with Brad Keselowski. The winner of Las Vegas was Kenseth, and he is 15th right now. Your highest up as far as winners would be Kyle Busch, and then there's Sam Morris Jr., the day 2500 winner right there. So, let's go to continue season and get to qualifying at Bristol. And of course, here are the settings for this race. Champion difficulty, it's gonna be 50 laps a day. Uh, four times tower fuel use the caution, black flags, and full damage and failures. I don't know about you guys, but the track is white. I mean, for me, the track is white. Why is the track white? It should be gray. I don't remember the bristle being this wide, but in the game, I guess it is. Which I guess might make it easier or harder. I think Bristol, Bristol might be better with less room. 31st right now. Ugh. Trying to fight that tightness. Finish them corners. Better? No. Why is my second lap always worse than my first lap? Why do I always have to suck at qualifying? It's Bristol, baby. Welcome to Fox Sports coverage of the Food City 500. Carol Waltrip, I'm Mike Joy. Mike, have you ever been caught in a blender? Have you ever gotten into the cul-de-sac and tried to run 500 laps around your neighborhood? No, but that's what Bristol is all about. It's like flying airplanes in a gymnasium. I love this racetrack. Carol's won here 12 times. The Bush brothers and Jeff Gordon, five apiece. I'm going with Kyle Busch. He owned this joint since I let him have it. But anyway, <laughs> he owns this joint, Kyle Busch. All right, Daryl, here we go. High banks, high anxiety. Racing's a contact sport. And Kyle Busch is starting like six or seven, somewhere over there. Well, what does he mean by he let him have it? Kyle Busch and Daryl Waltrip never raced together. Not even once. Okay, I, I'm worried about spinning the tires, but I think we're up to speed, so that's good. I'm going to check up for these guys in front of me, and we're going to try to move forward, even though I was very bad in qualifying. The car was just kind of up the track, down the track in qualifying. Um, and they're stacking up, and I'm just kind of keeping the throttle whenever the car is steering. We're getting around Casey Mears. Okay, so I'm 30th. When am I going to just not finish good in a race? Because so far, I mean, I've done that in all of them. I go to the top because I keep on getting checked up on the bottom, but then the top checks up in front of me. Like, where do I go? Get out of the way. That was the guy that was driving in circles in the last episode while I was heading down pit road. Dude, go! Get out of the way! Just fuck off! Gosh! They're so slow, and y'all are smashing the brakes in front of me, like always. Who is that 34 car? I don't know who drives the 34 car, and right? I don't care. Okay, we'll skip that. Up, yeah, black flags matter. NASCAR bus, Sean something, I had a driver I never heard of. Why is the track white? I mean, I can see the seams and a little bit of the texture. Maybe if I had on HDMI cable, it wouldn't look like this, but you have to have a component cable to record with the PS3. Oh, ow. Let's do that again, except not do that again. The thing where I hit the wall because I'm trying to avoid hitting the one car, that's kind of why that happened. Okay, let's get down the track. I'm trying, I was trying to avoid hit this one car, but the car was just heading straight for him. Go, please go. How come I suck so bad in qualifying and start the race and I keep on running into people like I'm... Ah! This is just the way Bristol is. I'm trying to avoid dumping the 9 car. I'm trying to avoid rear-ending the 43 car. Okay, down to the inside. 
of you guys. Oh, oh, I'm missing the corner trying to make these passes. Ah, what the? Why? Why the physics? The ah, we'll, we'll redo it again. Well, I'm gonna run out of retries. Yeah, I think I've done run out of them. But that's because I was not ready for this to be so such a terrible racing experience. Okay, let's uh, don't drive into me. Don't drive into me. Gosh, I, I, you know you think that they've got lots of awareness, but then sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. The car will not turn whenever I slow down. Ugh. Avoid the wall. Uh, what the fuck? Why are you all just smashed the brakes in front of me? Oh, oh, they're dead. They are dead. And they, they put up the, the caution, they put the transition screen so I don't have to rear end people all the time. It, it's not natural for me to just randomly start slowing down. I don't feel that. So I just go rear ending people. And then whenever we're racing, I'm rear ending people because they're smashing the brakes whenever I prefer not hitting the brakes. I don't think we're ever getting up to speed, but this is the highest difficulty goes. My tires are still fine. I'm doing the camera thing again. I'm 10th right now. I gained another 9 spots. I really don't feel like I, I deserve to be 10th, but I mean, I'm probably going to be rear ending these guys too. Why is David streaming up here? Oh boy. Still on the outside, but at least we're not so far back to worry about wheel spin mid corner or whatever. Okay. Come on, turn, turn. Just come on, turn. She's going to stick their nose underneath me, and then we're going to be spinning. Okay. Use the brakes. Okay, stay in the middle line. Just try to do whatever it takes to. Ah! Do whatever it takes to keep my car where I want it to be on the track. If I want it to be in the middle, then I kind of have to keep letting off over and over again. The, the damn 30 car, or whoever the hell that was, smashing the field. He's just reacting to me having to slow down all the time. They're like, why Why was that necessary? Why does Marcus Ambrose keep killing everybody? And now I'm sixth. Black flag. What are you talking about black flags? I am not get no black flag. I ain't done anything yet. Marcus Ambrose keeps killing people two races in a row. And this car is tight and loose at the same time. Like, it keeps oversteering, but then, like, it won't go down in the corner. Go down. Go, go, go down. Oh, my God, car. Ugh. Come on. Did he just do Pass me? He passed me. He passed me cleanly. What, what was your... Come on. Stop the drama. Don't stir the pot, Gucci. Okay. Damn, look at them just veer straight down the track the way they want to. My car just keeps getting tight and not doing anything. Ugh. Smash them brakes. The damn thing won't turn. Oh my goodness. We're, we're three wide. Oh. I just, I don't even have a car, man. I, even on fresh tires, I just don't have a car. I let all these guys by and I'm getting popped into the wall and this is, I'm, I'm really not enjoying playing this game at all. Not right now, at least. Oh, they're all bouncing off of me. My car doesn't work, so they have to drive around me and they can't because I'm too slow. I'm too slow because the car is just god awful. They don't want to turn. Not at all. It just, I've slowed down so much. I gotta slow down to 90. They gotta slow down to 110. Mm. So I wrecked Tony Stewart in his beautiful patriotic car. Yeah, I'm gonna pit. Because this is terrible. Okay, so we'll get our four tires and we will get the fuel and I don't know if we have any damage, but maybe they'll take care of that. Uh, car performance, 98%. I mean, I, I can do without the extra 2%. There's Kyle Busch in his Interstate Batteries car. So uh, I'll let you guys watch this pit stop. This is just dumb. It's it's dumber than Las Vegas was. And this time it's not because of the AI. So what's it is I my car is just so damn bad. It it will not turn. It just can't. I can slow down and slow down and slow down, but it never starts turning. And in the process of that they stick their nose underneath me and they they dive off the track and then they come back on and kill everybody. You know, like Marcus Ambrose. This this snowy track that we're racing on right now, this white ass track. Dang it. This car steers so, so well. Whenever I'm in traffic and they're all slow. Oh, 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 it two races in a row, and this time I didn't do shit. Oh my god. One Pablo Montoya got tossed into the air like a pancake. I had nothing to do with it. Jeff Gordon. This is this is what a wonderful game.
No, Newman, I am going. I am JC1424. I'm Scott Speed1424. I'm going. We're going forward. No. I don't care how fat your neck is. We're sending it underneath Kyle Bush. Ooh, and he took it up the ass hard in his face in the wall. I hit he took it so hard up the ass he felt it in his face. Check up. Check up, Newman. Fine, don't check up. Well, I got the spot on him. I'm tired of trying to race him side by side with my car not being able to take it. Okay. Over eighth. I'm gonna track down Casey Kane, try to make a pass before the tires are gone. I didn't even cause the caution this time. I'm telling you guys, you think I'm so damn bad at this game and people causing caution? They just do this shit all on their own. What the hell? Harvick, what are you doing? This is some Talladega shit at Bristol. You don't do Talladega shit at Bristol. And you don't do Bristol shit at Talladega. My Montoya just can't catch a break. And for some reason, Denny Hamlin's in a throwback sport clips car. No, I'm not pitting. I'm third. Newman is next to us again. David Strimmy is the leader. What a game. Do, 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 do. I'm kind of out of tires now. Yeah, we, we ain't got me left. So, I gotta chill. With, you know, like racing, like I can't be racing anymore. I kind of just gotta wheel this thing. And whenever I stop racing, I can cleanly pass Ryan. And that's just fucking weird, man. I'm telling you guys, it's not me. It's not me. The 34 car. Again. Didn't we, we just wrecked the 34 car a while ago? I don't even know what caused this caution. They all just freaking wrecked. They, they just did. I am restarting from the inside of Ryan Newman again, but this time I'm the leader. David Strimmy decided to pit. Well, what we're gonna do is next caution. That's gonna come out in probably like two laps, whether it's because of me or the AI, probably the AI. We're gonna pit under that caution. Yeah, of course, Ryan Newman's beating us the restart because I don't have any tires left. That's why I need a pit. And now, uh, you, you can't script this shit. It just freaking <laughs> at the back of the field. I have nothing to do with this. What are y'all doing? The car's taking a beating. We need to do some fast repairs, and you'll need tires and gas. Yeah, that is correct. Um, I'm getting some new tires, so these are getting worn, and we're gonna fix all that damage right there. We're trying to, I don't know if it's gonna be able to fix it all. It's like 3.7% damage. We got more than that. I slapped the wall so many damn times. But I mean, it's, it's Bristol, so it wouldn't matter that much. Uh, Newman came out on with us. I don't know if anyone else might be. Oh, a bunch of people did. They just, they were all the way at the back and stuff. So, we should be out like. At least um, somewhere between 20th and 30th, right? Uh, we, yeah, 27th. I can work with that. We've got enough time to pass some people and other people taking pit stops while they keep causing cautions. Yes, yes, we can. Bob the Builder. Well, what's, what's the orange little thing from Bob the Builder called, man? It's been so long. Can we do it? Uh, I think so. You, you know what I'm talking about. This is the cement thing. Is his name Lucky? Was his name Lucky? I don't know. He's named for a dog. He wasn't a dog. So we're gonna we're gonna drive this car because it's got them fresh tires. We can pass people. I'm gonna try to not touch people. It's very difficult to not touch people whenever whenever they smash the brakes in front of you and shit like this has to keep happening. Get on the gas. Get get on the gas. I'm telling me to get on the gas and him to get on the gas so that we can just run it out. Ah, see that wasn't a wreck. That's awesome. Whenever. You smash into people and it's not a wreck. We wouldn't be doing that if they stopped smashing the brakes. Ugh. Like, I don't need to be heading into the corner this freaking slow. But I, I guess they do. I complain about them being able to do so much more than me, and then whenever they can, I, I complain about that too. Oh! You're sneaking on the outside of me, and it's making me uncomfortable. We're moving forward, though. I can, on fresh tires, I can compete. And that is what we are doing, and now there's no cautions, which I swear there's going to be one eventually, and we're not going to finish all the way back here. I mean, it was like starting, it wouldn't stop last time. Caution, breeding cautions. Oh, it's getting loose. 
Cindy did it on the 47. Bump, 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 bump. And if I can catch them, then I can pass them. I'm trying so hard to clear someone that I'm not focused on taking the next turn. Would you go away, 47 car? Is it Almondinger? Labonte. Bobby Labonte. I forgot Labonte was in this game. Ugh! Trying to avoid hitting you, but you won't stop being underneath me. Now I'm passing guys on the outside. I mean, that's fine. I can do that too. Uh, until the car doesn't finish the corner, that's for sure. Would you not be in front of me? That, that's too much to ask, to be honest. We're still moving forward. We're, we're still doing this. But if this green flag run just keeps playing out, then we're never really going to um, get the chance to stay ahead of these guys when my tires just fall off so quickly. As I keep missing the, all the corners now. In order to pass people, though. Uh, I, I'm passing you. Or I'm trying to pass you. I rear-ended you to get you going, and you're still not going. Slow it down. Slow it down. Well, I like that we're racing. It sucks that we're back here, but I mean, at least we're racing. That's better than all these damn cautions. There's the white flag. Just been chilling in 21st. Ugh, oh my god. This is such a strange race in comparison to Las Vegas because at one point it was like, oh, you have 30 laps left on fuel. And I'm like, why does it go that far? It didn't go anywhere in Vegas. And it's the same damn setting. Zambros won. I don't think he deserves a win. He keeps killing people. But 21st it is. Unless they decide to change it right here. Okay, 21st. Ambrose is your winner. Robbie Gordon second. Kurt Busch third. Flapjack Montoya fourth. But he got his redemption. Good finish after it all. Landon Castle fifth. What? All these, the top six are just the most random drivers. Then you got Casey Kane, who was okay in 2012. Clint Boyer, Mark Martin, Danica, the top 10 at Bristol of all places. Uh, and I'm all the way down here, 21st. So where am I in points after this race? I am still the point leader, but we're tied with Greg Biffle. I didn't even take a look where he finished in that race. I kind of just looked through the top 10 for the most part. Uh, yeah, of course, Case Gain up to third now. That makes sense. And um, he is nine points behind me. And then he's two points in front of Clint Boyer. There's Marcus Ambrose. So the highest up driver that we have that has a win right now is Marcus Ambrose in fifth. Oh, my goodness. And then um, no one else in the top 10 has a win right now. I mean, Kyle Busch just lost like freaking six spots or something. And um, there's Tony Stewart. This season is uh, just weird. I don't think we're ever going to have point standings that make much sense. Because the races themselves already don't make much sense. But let's get out of here. I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we go racing at Auto Club Speedway, which is a race I'm excited for. Probably going to be a bunch of stack up there, but still, I like that track. And then Martinsville. I don't know if I'm really that good at Martinsville in your technics games. And I don't know how this one's going to be about it. But see you next time. That's that and episode over.